Hey Internet, Senior Software Photographer here and today I'm gonna show you how you can test your expired medium format film. And I'm gonna be testing this Fujifilm NPS 160. I have like four rolls of this stuff and I am keen to see what results it will give. So after inserting the film in a magazine, I'm looking through this window and most probably you're not gonna see it. What I want to do is that I want to wind this film all the way up until frame number 12. And then I'm gonna load this uh, magazine, uh, I'm gonna put this magazine in a changing bag and in the changing bag I'm gonna open the dark slide and I will put my finger on film and keep winding it until I get uh, like a half frame because as you might know as you might notice uh, medium format film always has a little bit of uh, extra film at the end I shot like many rolls and only once I got a film that didn't have that and like it was really you know so I, I had my last like 12 frame and there was like literally like one centimeter of a film left but uh, I think it's better to even sacrifice one last 12 frame uh, than sacrifice the whole roll because uh, right now my plan is gonna be using a half of a frame and I'm trying to get away with this extra film we have uh, shooting 6x6. Six six. I, I don't know how it affects uh, other formats like 6x7 or uh, uh, 645 maybe there is a like a, a less uh, extra film left but I'm talking about uh, 6 by 6 and what is really amazing and cool about this Kiev magazine that is uh, fully manual it's not automatic so in order to uh, uh, wind the film I have to look through this little window and actually see when the number uh, 1 shows in the window I should stop winding it I know that uh, Hasselblad uh, magazines are actually automatic and I don't know if it's possible to do this test on Hasselblad but I mean anyways you always can uh, let's say if you're not able to m take advantage of this uh, extra film by just winding your your film is in this position well in this case maybe you just shoot the last r uh, frame like the whole frame and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna need my cotton gloves because I don't want to leave any fingertips on my film so this is my magazine uh, Kiev magazine uh, I wind it up all the way up to the frame number 12 so it's like the last frame and now I'm gonna put everything in the changing bag so now I'm removing the dark slide I'm start winding the film okay so now I feel the end of the film, putting my dark slide back. It says number one here, but that's not true. And here is something very important to understand if you don't know already. So camera won't be taking picture as it is. The lens will rotate image upside down and put it on the film well backwards basically so and if you and it's it is very important because as you as you know we have already half of a frame. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my uh, ground glass from Yashica to demonstrate you this and I put my camera into bulb mode. So I press the ground glass against my camera and I'm opening it in a bulb mode. So you can see the uh, image is upside down. So I need my film to be down there or I need to be shooting like this if my film is uh, at the top. Uh, to actually get this part and give camera uh, so right now my part of the film is on the top meaning that when I'm shooting this my image should be at the bottom and I want to be really close as as close as my focus can allow that so now I'm going to remove this magazine back again put it in the changing bag open it up cut this piece of film, put this piece of film in the canister or in a development tank and develop it. Yeah guys, that's not a walk in a park. <laughs> okay, so let's revise what goes in my changing bag. It's scissors, of course, because I need to cut the film. It's a magazine with the film itself. It's a development tank with the lead and 
with the reel inside. Uh, it's like a, a, a small uh, piece of uh, sticky tape. So, as you might remember, uh, the film is w is all the way to the back, and at the back, film is not being like kept with a sticky tape. So I need to put it so that I can easily uh, rewind the roll back because that's what I need to do because I need to rewind it back and of course uh, my gloves because I don't want to touch the film and I'm gonna be doing this off the camera because you cannot see it anyways and yeah, that can take some time and this is my negative guys I just wanted to show you how it has been sitting on the reel basically so as you can see I again put it uh, just between those little balls all the colors are in place as you can see and dynamic range is distinguishable pretty excited about this film actually and the result is pretty good as you can see so all the colors are in place there are no shifts so all the dynamic range is still there so they and the sensitivity is also good but as for my records this film has been expired 20 years ago so i should have been uh, overexposing it at least two stops but there is no need in overexposing this film at all so this is the whole message basically if you don't test your film you cannot be sure either you should be overexposing it or not and this stuff is discontinued so at some point you may be the person who holds the last role of the film and of course you can just go ahead and spoil the roll like doing the gut feeling but you can also test it and get expected results so so yeah guys as a recap just rewind the film all the way back to the last frame and to the last piece of film shoot the test image cut this film develop it and then roll the film back and then you will get the feeling of the film how should you uh, behave with this maybe maybe it's a toast Maybe, maybe it's maybe it's placed in a trash can. I mean, it's it happens uh, a lot. It happens a lot with expired film. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it on this topic. And thanks for watching. Bye.